What is up guys, DZ here, and sadly I won't have Courtney's dead here tonight because she is at work and that is a bummer and I kind of, I guess, want to just do address that right away. But in other news guys, thank you very so much for all the love and support. Episode 40 was basically a big thank you to you guys for all the love and support and continued watching the videos. All the shout outs we do is because you guys keep watching. You guys make us want to do this even more. So thank you guys. Ah. Uh... I'm going to head back down to the second on Oh! It's been a little while. I'm kind of rusty a bit right now, and I apologize, guys. As you can see, I've almost leveled up still. Still at the same place I was last time. Um, but again, guys, I apologize about neglecting these Dead Frontier videos. Uh, i got to put that to a stop or a halt immediately. And start pumping them back out for you guys. Also, it would be nice to level up and get some new weapons, actually. Like a new grenade launcher or, you know, things like that. I think I'm getting close to the bunker. I didn't even really pay close attention to the map when I opened it up there. It kind of being a tit. Sometimes it's hard to multitask when they're trying to commentate and slay zombies at the same time. It's ridiculous. Alright, well, it looks like I went a little bit too far over. I need to go... Oh, leave me alone. I need to go a block right. Oh, of course you'd scream. That's what you get. Okay, Dinah. So close to leveling up. I mean, at this point, I kind of just want to level up. I mean, like, I don't know if there's a lot of point going back to the base. Maybe just to heal up, see what I've got for inventory and whatnot. But yeah, guys, I apologize. Like I said, I've been neglecting the videos a little bit. I've, oh! No, definitely got to go back to base now, because I was an idiot there and got overran. Um, <clears throat> but we also picked up recently, uh, Friday the 13th, so we've been playing a lot of that. Uh, been super addicted to it, so definitely going to see some gameplay of that as well, so check that out, because it's a pretty fun game. But it's not, you know, glitching or take a half an hour for the matchmaking, but they'll get there. Alright guys, so let's go heal our armor up and whatnot, then head back out there and get that extra three experience. Alright guys, so we are finally healed up here, we're all nourished, we're good to go, we're going to go get this last three percent experience, be on our way to level, I can't even remember what level it is actually now, so it'll be a surprise for both of us, but I know I will be able to get a new grenade launcher and that's what I've been looking forward to, something that can actually hold three rounds as opposed to one. I feel like that would be way more efficient at actually clearing out some aggro. As opposed to the times that I actually cut the camera and then spend 15 minutes trying to actually clear out a place so I can loot it. The struggles guys, the struggles. I know you guys know the struggles because you play Dead Frontier as well. What did I ever do to you besides shoot you? Get out of here. Alright. I want that three experience. So I can level up. But yes, again, thanks for the support though, guys. I know, again, I shared out Chris Seamus in the last video, but he actually made it a point to run us down some ammo and whatnot, which was pretty kind of him. And he stays at Fort Pastor. Is Fort Pastor an actual viable place to go out and loot at a higher level and whatnot and boss hunt, or no? Like, obviously, the second on bunker is the closest to the black zone or whatever you want to refer to it as. I should probably look it up so I can be, become more educated in the actual terminology of Dead Frontier, guys. I'm sure you get a kick out of the fact that I mess it up, but... Yeah. Because I know a lot of you probably stay out in the end zone for a long period of time and get a lot of good equipment.
terrible shot on that one. Holy, we're still at 97, eh? Like, even with slaying all these zombies, it takes so long to level up. And I didn't want to necessarily do the mission when I got back to base because it said it was going to expire in 30 minutes. So I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to complete it in that time. I don't know, guys. So I figured a better solution would maybe to go loot a bit. And uh, see how that turns out. Now the other downside is, because I've been so distracted, guys, I let my gold membership run out. So I'm going to have to renew that in the near future here. Because clearly that is super, super beneficial for playing Dead Frontier. You can play without it, obviously, but it's very nice to actually get that extra little, little boost in terms of experience, even. Because I feel like I would have leveled up by now. I feel like it would have happened already. And there's better loot chances as well, I believe. You can get more off to get rare items, I believe. Now guys, I don't know why you're getting so upset. I'm simply just trying to clear these hallways out. And here we go guys. Some more aggro to clean up. And probably our last 2% of experience that we're going to need. So this is what I mean guys. Again, because I had you lovely veterans help me out. Paying them against a wall or rather being on the other side of a wall than using a grenade launcher is obviously incredibly helpful. Because uh, the grenade launcher has the splash damage. And that's why, like I said, I really would like the three round grenade launcher. This would go a lot quicker. Boom. Two for one. There you go. I actually didn't want to fire that last one, but thanks anyway. I appreciate it. No, I don't want any steroids. I would appreciate maybe some ammo, though. Oh, my goodness. What? You guys came out of nowhere and were quite aggressive. Hokey Dinah. What were they to spawn? behind me there. You could clearly tell that there was nothing up there because I just ran up there, but spawn me in some Zeds. Nomad helmet? Sure, why not? Might get a little bit of money from it. Okay, so there's a girl. You guys, you guys want me bad. Alright. Well, we're going to go down here again. 98, come on. It's so close. It's literally a sliver away. No, I don't like the big ones. Get out of here. Come on, stop trying to hit me. Quit being lazy. I knew you were going to take one more. Not a great move to pin myself in here, but I want to make sure. Oh, it could be that implant. It could be something rare that you need. 411 bucks. Whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Money's money. Throw her in the vault. Holy determined, bud.
Come on, come on. I want a hundred percent experience. Obviously this turned out into more of a looting trip, folks, and that's okay, but I figured I'd get two birds stoned at once, get my hundred experience, and loot some items. Maybe I should have just done the mission, because obviously that would have been a lot quicker. The other place I want to eventually check out is Precinct 13, but I feel like the economy down there probably isn't the greatest. They're probably not getting a lot of the same ammo, unless you're walking all the way to the end of the map. I would like something useful. Come on, guys. Speak and you shall receive right on. Well, at least that's useful in case I get injured or something like that. That's not a bad, not a bad little token prize. Holy, look at that thing. Just big old torso. Blech. Sure, I use those grenades, so it might be useful for me to actually have them. Alright, next floor it is, gentlemen and ladies that are viewing this. I feel like I might have lost some of my female demographic because I don't have Courtney's dead co-hosting right now. It feels lonely. It feels very lonely. Akon lonely. That was a good tune back in the day. Alright, collect that money. Holy, there was a lot of you back there. Hokey Dina. More of you hellhounds getting upset. I understand. I get it. What I want to look out for right now are sirens because that's what ended up causing that kerfluffle downstairs in the first place. And what I try to do there is what I'm sure everybody tries to do is try to get the exploding guys first, the guys that will do your area damage. I try to prioritize as even though it looks chaotic, I try to prioritize what I'm trying to kill first. So even though that guy, that last guy, this leaper right here, is, kills you in one hit, super slow. So, I mean, you be the judge. Do you want to worry about him or do you want to worry about the hellhounds? Or the rumblers, just with their bellies full of bile. Which is really gross. They blow up everywhere. It's awful. Get out of here, fella. Oh, we're at 99, guys. We're almost going to reach the big 100. Woohoo! I'm super pumped. Get that new gr oh, get that new grenade launcher. All right, loot the spot. Sure, we'll grab a whiskey. Why not? All of you guys getting upset on the other side of the wall there. Look at that. Two of the worst ones to deal with. You had the Hellhound and the Bile Bandit. The Rumbler. Oh, even though I hate trying to do this, I'm going to ah, get behind there. Fine, maybe I'll walk the other way. Maybe that'll be easier, yep. Could be an implant, guys. You never know. You don't want to leave it. Or it could be red wine. And I guess you pick it up anyway because you went through all that trouble of actually getting it. Wow. I hate getting in and out of those friggin' corners there. All right. 
right, clearing out the hallway, trying to go for that one hundo. I'm surprised I actually got that deke out there because that was terrible. And I felt like they were going to get me. Not kill me, but at least hit me. But I somehow managed to avoid it. I like that this Ward Carbine too has the stopping power. Like they run at me and then I just hit them quick. Try to make it a habit to reload after every kill too. Oh my gosh, my aim was off there. Blech, terrible, disgusting accuracy. And not like disgusting in a good way, like disgusting. Like no one wanted to see you just miss four shots there. Alright, so obviously you were upset down there. Alright, so now that we got their bellies cleared with bile, oh, get out of here, hounds. There we go, alright. You're out of the way. Perfect. Just nothing but chunks left. Alright, on. Getting a lot of supplies here. Dried truffles are always golden. 45%, basically 50% of your nourishment. Boom, right there when they're cooked. Awesome. And still no 100, eh? Oh, we're almost there. I can feel it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, just ignore those shots when I miss, guys. Oh, I totally messed up there. Wasn't paying attention. Motherfucker scratched my armor. Oh, buddy. You know how valuable this stuff is after the world's ended? Got my titanium armor on and you're sitting there ruining it. Your dog bites. All right. 2000 dollars some supplies. I want that hundred experience guys come on we're going to the third floor now just so I can get the hundred oh come on I didn't think it was gonna take that long thought we we're just gonna fly right up and then I completely forgot that I need to get gold membership so we're on this journey together here folks Nope, nothing. I. What's funny is I was literally about to say nothing I can use, and then the game went ahead and said it for me. Oh, so lucky. I hate the sirens. That was. Happy I clipped her when I did. All right, on. You guys tell me, what do you like to loot better, by the way? The hospital or the bunkers? I feel like I have a better time in the hospital, or it's easier to maneuver than the bunker. But, you guys let me know what you think. Oh, another one of those fucking shelves. Nope. I want that special 100. And again, you know I'm going to go back there and check it because you know it could be like a super rare item or it could be nothing at all. That's my monotone voice just because I'm not expecting this to be amazing, but you're not going to not, guys. Come on, it's Dead Frontier. I mean, I'll take the dried truffles. Like I said, I would have had, would have much rather preferred, you know, a junker or anything else. But whatever. Either way, either way is fine. So 
Sometimes I get too excited there and cut myself off for angles for shots. Oh, that was close. Alright. Oh, look at you sneaking up on me there because I wasn't paying super close attention. Look at that stopping power. Get out of here. Oh, look, look at I just slaughtered a bunch of them. And it does not want to level me up, guys. It hates me. No, I don't really need wooden planks. I might get something better. Who knows? Might need that extra space. Which is normally the case nine times out of ten. I find myself throwing out items that it's like, why did I even bring it anyway if I'm not going to use it? Oh, I thought you were for sure dead. You could have got that swipe on me there, bud. Oh, of course he'd get stuck behind the door there. There we go. Perfect. This has been like a, truff a truffle trip, guys. All right, come on. No, I don't want that ammo. I don't roll like that. I'm not using that kind of shotgun. Yeah, anyway, I don't know how there's players that are like level 220 and whatnot that have maxed everything. It's just it's impressive. Obviously, been playing dedicated for a long time. And not intermittently on and off like myself. Walking myself through this, guys, as you sit here and watch me try to get this last little bit of experience. Like I've mentioned 900 times, but I'm so, so determined. I know some of you are going to be commenting, like, why didn't you go three blocks up and two blocks right and go to this one fence where you can just shoot them? And I apologize. I clearly should have. I don't know all the ins and outs. All right. And on to the next floor, guys. Again, I just love how many floors and how many items there are to loot in the hospital. So I prefer the hospital. A cowboy hat. No, I sadly do not need one, but I appreciate it, though. Appreciate the offer. Nothing in there. All right. Is there anything down in here? This is always a good room to loot up here. Okay, so we're gonna see. And now I don't care walking towards them because the area of effect zombie is taken care of. And again, why you want to reload, because I almost just screwed myself there and got hit by the dog, and I wouldn't even have had a good reason to. We're at 100, guys. Holy, from all that ass kickery there, we finally reached 100.
perfect. Alright guys, so I'm going to finish clearing this out, see if we get anything good. I'll see you in a moment. Alright folks, so we ended up clearing out the rest of the hospital, didn't really find anything in particularly interesting or worth recording. Then we ran back down to base and collected in on the 100 XP I've been talking about all episodes. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go put a point into reloading because, like I said, I'm going to be getting the new grenade launcher and I want to be able to instant reload eventually. There we go. Perfect. Alright guys, and that has been it for Hippie Thug Gaming. This is Dead Frontier, episode 41. And don't forget to like, rate, comment, subscribe. If you're watching this on Facebook, don't forget to share. And, as always, peace, love, hippie thug.